Afghanistan is going to celebrate its 100th anniversary of independence on August 19, with the inauguration of the newly renovated historical Dalaman Palace, which is one year younger than the country's independence obtained from the Great Britain on August 19, 1990. The historical Dalaman Palace is a symbol of modernism initiated by former King Amman Khan in 1920, but has served as symbol of war in the country and the past more than three decades of conflict and civil strife. The palace has experienced ups and downs over the past more than 30 years, would be unveiled after reconstruction by Afghan engineers on the Independence Day falling on August 19, with freedom, fervor and solemnity among thousands of enthusiasts. Dalaman Palace is located about 8 kilometers southwest outside of the center of Kabul, Afghanistan. The construction of the Dalaman Palace began in the early 1920s as the part of the endeavors of King Amanullah Khan to modernize Afghanistan. It was to be part of the new capital city called Dalaman, connected to Kabul by a narrow railway. The palace is an imposing neoclassical building on the hilltop overlooking a flat, dusty valley in the western part of the Afghan capital. Designed by the German architects, it was one of the first buildings in the country to get central heating and running water. It was intended to serve as a parliament building within his new capital, but opposition to the king's reform efforts prevented the building from being put to use. A fire broke out in 1969 which left it severely damaged. Although later restored to House of Defense Ministry, the building was again engulfed in flames in 1978, only to be reused again throughout the 1980s. Finally, fighting between the Mujahideen forces occupying Kabul on the 1990s left the building in almost total ruins, with large portions of the ceiling collapsed and the interior open to the elements. In early 2016, work began on a 20 million US dollar restoration project intended to renovate the palace in time for the centenary of Afghanistan's fall independence in 1919. Nearly 600 tons of debris was initially removed from the 150 room building and by the spring of 2017. Workers were taking down plaster and concrete from the inner walls. Over 80 engineers and architects and more than 1,000 laborers were involved in the project, of which 25% are female. And now, the reconstruction of palace has almost fully completed and will be ready to host the celebration of Afghanistan's Independence Day. Okay, in this part I have Mr. Uh, engineer Jawed Hamad, the project manager of the Dalaman Palace with me here. Uh, thank you first for joining us. Uh, can you tell us about uh, this project? Uh, by the name of Allah, my name is Ahmad Jawed. My last name is Hamad. I work here as a project manager in the restoration and consolidation of the Dalaman Palace. Yes, we have four departments in here. Our department is architecture department, structure department, electrical department, and mechanical department. Our biggest, uh, our biggest challenge in the restoration and consolidation of Dalaman Palace, it was the structure part, because a lot of the people think, uh, too especially exterior people think, that the restoration and consolidation of the Dalaman Palace is beyond the Afghan engineering. And today you are witnesses that uh, we are comp completed our uh, structure part uh, from zero to to two hundred by our forces, by our engineers, by our hand. Okay, that's uh, nice. Uh, how about the uh, Dolomon Palace? Which uh, year did you start the restoration of this uh, palace and uh, when it's going to finish? Yes, uh, we are started uh, our work in the Dolomon Palace from 2016 and we will complete, complete the Dalaman Paris in 2019. As, such as I said before, uh, the exterior people uh, has, uh, said the restoration and consolidation of Dalaman will be get, will be get, uh, about uh, from five uh, years to ten years. 
and today you are witnesses by our hand, by our force, we are rebuilt the, the Darlaman Palace in from uh, one to about two years. به فارسی به شما میشه میگه ما بخش اسنادسازی ما دو سال در بر گرفت اما بخش کار ما یک و سال در بر گرفته که ما در یک و سال بخش قصد در لمانه میسازیم اوکی هی سید دی هاف داکومنتد دس پالس اند آلسو دی دی فاوند افکتد ارییاز ان تو ایرز اند دا دا ادر ورکس دا ریکنستراکشن اند دا رینوویشن ورکس Uh, took uh, about uh, one and a half years, yeah? Uh, one and a half years, yes. Okay, okay my next question is uh, actually that uh, how many percent of this, uh, the renovation of this building has been completed so far? And how many percent uh, in which areas remains? And uh, mm. when you are going to finish that? Uh, you are witnesses today. We are, we are complete uh, about 19, uh, 95 percent of the restoration and consolidation of Darlaman Palace. Uh, it's in Bistash uh, Asat. Hmm. Okay, he said uh, the rest of the works will be finished at uh, the August 19, yes? 19. Salamin Salgar, the Jashna Estaklal Afghanistan, Kabarabar Shah, Bistash Asat, the Rasa Darlaman Tajir Meshavat. Okay, he said the 100th anniversary of the Afghan Independence Day will, uh, will be celebrated here. in the Darlamon Palace. Okay, can you uh, tell me that uh, how much did you spend for the restoration of this building and who was uh, supported? در قسمت مصارف اقتصادی ما در کار باسازی قصد دارلمان مصارف اقتصادی ما سریق دولت است خارجی ها در قسمت نقش ندارند و کار باسازی قصد دارلمان انشاءالله که در حدود های نونیم تا ده میلون دالر در بر میگیره که به پای یک مال برسند این چیزی است که خارجی ها برآورد کرده بودند از 100 میلیون دلار شروع شده بود و 24 میلیون دلار توقف کرده بود اما امروز اداره واحد عملیاتی ریاست جمهوری نه تنها که بخش خود ساختمان با یک سری اضافی کاری ها که انجام داده به شمول لندسکیپ قصد دارلمان که از سه جلیب زمین در بر میگیره بین نو نیم تا ده میلیون دلار می سازیش for the restoration of this building, including the landscapes around this building, uh, costs around uh, 10 million US dollars. While he said the foreigners uh, predicted that uh, it will cost uh, more than 100 million US dollars. But uh, he said that uh, in the very, uh, with the very small budget, they, uh, able, they became able to restore this building. After the restoration of uh, Dollaman Palace, We will use uh, this. Uh, we will use the Dolomon Palace, uh, the first floor and second floor for the historic uh, national. Uh, no. Ma baad az takmili kar basadi qasad Dolomon. Qararat ke tabaqi awal va tabaqi duom qasad Dolomon ba inwan al muzjam milli ya muzjam farhangi ma wada sabda qarar bigra va tabaqi siyomash ham ba inwan mahal tashrifat riyasat jamuri ya ham mahal basha baray mehmanon daakhli va kharji. Guest house, yeah, but hala me mona it dakhli wa kharji bash. Okay, he said after the after uh, the restoration uh, complete, uh, they will use the first floor and the second floor for the cultural museum, national national cultural uh, national cultural museum of Afghanistan, and uh, the third floor will be used as uh, uh, Afghan presidential palace uh, guest house or for the very VIP guests of Afghan prison. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for uh, your uh, good information. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you.